What's up guys, I'm super excited because in this video for the first time ever, you're gonna get an insight into what it actually takes to create a Savage Dad episode with behind the scenes footage that has never been seen before. It's crazy because the Savage Dad series just started with Mary's boyfriend just trying to take her to prom. Savage Dad answers the door and you guys know what happens from there. And since then it's just blown up into this massive series and it's, it's blown my mind the incredible love and support that you guys show to Savage Dad and the Savage Dad series. It blows my mind and I just want to say to you guys who are supporters of Savage Dad, thank you, I appreciate you, it does not go unnoticed. And it's for you that I've made this video. So many of you guys always ask for insights into what it takes to create the Savage Dad series and I've never ever shown it before. So this video is a world exclusive first time ever and you're going to see all sorts of things that you've probably wondered about before and you're going to get a lot of answers to a lot of questions. So let's dive straight into it. This is a behind the scenes video for the Savage Dad Christmas special which is the most recent episode. I usually film episodes just on my own with a, a phone in my hand or on a tripod uh, but for this one I really wanted to be able to bring you guys a behind the scenes video so I asked my sister to come along and help me to film some behind the scenes bits. So let's dive straight into it starting with day one. Enjoy. So current settings, I've been stood out in the freezing cold in a vest for about two hours trying to get these shots for this scene. I am freezing. Has to be bare hands because Savage Dad is, is the savage. He doesn't wear gloves. I'm freezing, but we've got to get it right. So that's, uh, yeah, these are the bits that people don't see. The behind the scenes, I'm shivering. My hands are red from being cold. I can hardly feel them. The snowballs have to be packed tightly because that's part of the storyline. So every time I don't throw it right or I think, or we need to redo the shot, I have to pack a new snowball, bare hands, pack it tightly to make sure it fits in. And there's continuity there. Oh. <sighs> Nearly there though. <sighs> it's times like this when I need to harness my inner savage to get the job done for Savage Dad. Let's get it. All right, this snowball is packed. Can it tighten up, Charles? Yeah. That is good. Yeah, that's a savage snowball. <laughs> Let's get it. What I'm doing now is <laughs> it's a little bit out there but I'm painting these sticks. What are these sticks called again? What are they for? Oh, like a food stick, a skewer. A skewer, yeah, like a skewer wooden stick. Um, but I've got this idea. And basically, in this Savage Dad episode, the, one of the biggest scenes is when he throws a snowball. And I want to get a shot of the snowball flying through the air. And I think this might be a way to, to achieve that. I might be wrong, but I think this is going to work. Why is it green? I'm just colouring it green because I'm going to remove the stick in post. But I'm going to keep the snowball. So I'm going to oh. make a snowball, stick this to it, and then put this close to the camera and just bring them along together. And then remove the stick. But obviously, it's a lot easier removing green things. So that's why I'm colouring oh. it green. That's the theory anyway. That's the thinking behind it. Let's see if this works. You'll know because in the you'll see the shot in the episode if it doesn't work it just won't we just won't have that shot but it would be epic if this works it'll be unbelievable here we go please don't fall apart yes yes okay now we put this up to the camera and it's going to be like that and we're just going to be flying across i might need to rotate it a bit as we go but yeah Let's try it. So that was day one, guys. As you can see, I was absolutely freezing. Um, it ended up being about a five or six hour shoot that day. Uh, I knew I was up against time because it's quite rare that it snows in the UK to begin with. But once it does snow, the snow kind of sets and then it starts to like harden or crystallize a bit where it becomes harder and harder to pack snowballs. Um, each day that passes. So I knew I was up against time. And also at any given moment, it could have rained. And if I was halfway through the shoot and it rained and got rid of all the snow, then that would have 
made it impossible for me to complete the episode, which would have been an absolute disaster. So I felt this pressure on me to get the snowball scenes done before the snow disappeared and also before the snow started to get uh, kind of like powdery and it just becomes really, really hard to pack snowballs. So day one went well, probably filmed about 20% of the episode on day one. One of the most commonly asked questions about Savage Dad is how long it takes to create an episode. And the answer is it usually takes between 80 and 100 hours of work so from conceptualizing the episode writing the script going to the locations changing outfits setting up the shots acting out the scenes doing all the filming getting establishing shots and then bringing it back to do the edit uh, the sound design the grade there's loads of things that go into it but all things considered it usually takes between 80 and 100 hours of intensive work so yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's worth every minute of it. I literally will put blood, sweat and tears into Savage Dad episodes. I'm not even just saying that. I've bled quite a few times to create Savage Dad episodes. In fact, you'll see in this video that I actually bled to create the Christmas special, uh, which you'll see later on in this video. So that was day one. Let's move on to day two. So we've got four outfits in the car today. Uh, plus Savage Dad, that's five outfits. Every Savage Dad episode obviously has loads of characters. So there's lots of outfit changes involved. Uh, which I'm just used to now, but at first it was like I would be chopping and changing, but now I always, well, I try to film every character's parts in one go to minimize outfit, cha outfit changes, but sometimes that's not possible. But yeah, five outfits for this scene alone, and then we've got more outfits for more characters in the next scene. So yeah, there's so much that goes into it, I'm telling you, so much. Even me looking like a pagan today, like fully shaved, like what am I doing? I don't know. I'm going to hibernation until it grows back for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Take one step back, I'm going to come a bit closer so I get more flip -offs. No. Ready? Yeah. How's that? Oh. Oh. I've thrown probably about 50 snowballs in my face today to, just to get the right shot. Um, but we got it we got it so that's a wrap on this scene the snowball fight on the street with the neighbor and uh yeah now i'm gonna go home get warmed up and uh one more one more scene to film and then into the edit oh my face look you can see my face is being battered today Ooh, worth it though this is going to be an epic scene trust me so yeah, day two was another tough one out there in the cold for probably about six hours, um, trying to get the right shot. One of the biggest challenges with Savage Dad uh, filming is the filters can be really unreliable. So uh, what you just saw there is me uh, playing the young king where he gets hit with the snowball. And when the snowball was hit in the face, it would obviously explode. And then that would cover the face and then the Snapchat filter found it difficult to keep tracking the face and keep the filter on so it would flash off and as soon as the filter flashes off even if you've acted out the scene well it, it becomes a write-off and you have to you can't use it and you have to do it all over again so that can be really frustrating and challenging when filming Savage Dad episodes. That's one of the biggest challenges of Savage Dad for sure. It, the amount of scenes that I've thought that is a banging take and I've watched it back and the filter flashes off and I have to redo it. It's, it's so frustrating at times. Also, you've just seen the first ever time of me revealing what it looks like me playing uh, one of the characters and uh, and holding the phone. That's the reality of it. It obviously doesn't look and feel like it when you're watching the episodes, but most of the Savage Dad shots, probably 90, 95% are filmed handheld selfie mode or on a tripod where I'll put the camera on a tripod, set the frame, set the timer, run into shot and then act out the scene. These are the behind the scenes bits that I've never shown before. Right, day three, let's get it. Okay, day three of filming. Uh, just done an hour, having a little break just to warm up again. Um, I've actually just cut my head. Uh, you can see that blood, that's from throwing a snowball in my head. Um, and yeah, I, <laughs> To fit into the story, I basically need to use hard snowballs, so 
the, is the, the snow's like three days old now. So it actually is really hard to pack snowballs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is, these are the sort of problems that I don't usually share, but you got the snow here. Look how flaky that is. And if I try and pack that into a snowball, it is like, well, it just disintegrates straight away. So it's really hard. Um, so I ended up picking up some blobs of, of like ice that have just been on the roadside and there. And yeah, it's hard and it's basically rock hard ice and it just cut my head when I threw it in my head. But I got the shot, I got the shot. <laughs> so that's good. I've also shaved because I'm, I've done all the Savage Dad scenes. So I don't need a beard anymore. And it really helps the filter for the kids if I don't have facial hair. So that's dedication to the course. Pretty much a full shave. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> we're getting it, we're getting it. Day three, I think there'll be two more days of filming. Um, today and tomorrow, we'll get the Benga shots. And uh, yeah, then we'll get into the edit. Whew. Cold, 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 cold. So just running through the shot list, which has got like 200 shots on it. Um, once we get them, take them off. So I'm getting through it, but you can see there's so many that haven't been ticked off. Gotta just keep pushing through. Uh, next up, we're, we're introducing a new character. This is the bully neighbor who's throwing his snowballs. He's packing them really hard and throwing them at the kids, maliciously trying to hurt them. So you gotta pick a filter that matches the character. Uh, and sometimes that takes time, to be honest, because you are limited with your filters, but I, I think I've found the one. Come on. Man up. That'll be a wimp. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up and don't be a wimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna work. 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 The, filter, the face suits the character. Right. Finish this hot chocolate and then let's go. So today we've got the full Benga outfit. This is the big moment because this is the first time that anyone's seeing Benga outside of his traffic officer uniform. So this is the outfit of the day. I'm not going to show the trainers because I, I, I'm going to get some <laughs> some proper leopard print uncle, African uncle shoes for the next time he's out of uniform. But yeah, so this is the outfit. Today we're filming the Benga scenes in the house. And uh, yeah, it's, people are going to love this. And this is going to be a big surprise. No one's expecting it. No one's expecting it. But what I have to do is keep my tattoos out because obviously these are Savage Dad tattoos. So this is one of the things you have to think about is when I'm doing expressions and gesticulations, I can't let the tattoos pop out. So that's one thing to think about. Thank you, Jesus, for another one. So this is the scene where uh, <laughs> Benga just takes the money from the card. <laughs> Doesn't even read the card. <laughs> All right, let me get this right. <clears throat> <laughs> so that's the behind the scenes of the savage dad christmas special i really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it insightful and i hope that it also answered a lot of the questions that you might have had in your mind about how savage dad episodes are created guys again i can't thank you enough for your continued love and support not just for savage dad and the savage dad series but also the love and the support that you guys show me all the time uh, with my content i really do appreciate you guys that's another thing about the savage dad series it is so hard at times keeping the secrets because obviously I know what's coming and it's a madness but I can't tell anyone because I can't risk a leak I can't risk it being leaked even the missus she doesn't know the plots she doesn't know what's coming she don't know the storyline she doesn't know where the series is going um, and she's obviously the closest person to me so yeah I have to keep very hush hush and sometimes it can be really challenging just keeping it all inside um, but that's what it takes to um, to, to make sure that every episode is jam-packed to the max with surprises so that's it for this video guys i'm gonna get to planning the next savage dad episode now and you can trust me it's going to be epic as always i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one so this is the technique i'm using in the end because the other one didn't work literally just built a snowball 
on a string, well, a shoelace, and I'm just gonna spin it, and then I'm gonna slow it down, and then, yeah, that'll look like it's hurtling through the air. As savage dad's just thrown it. Let's get it.